Following the recent statement made by Delta State Publicity Secretary of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Valentine Onojogo Esquire, that the Governor Sharifa Borowari led administration has borrowed the sum of 40 billion naira in the past 15 months as Governor of the state. Delta State governments have described it as false and baseless. Valentine Onojogo said Governor Borowari has continued this trend, taking a 40 billion loan as his first official act and boasting of an of, um, MORE agenda that promises more of the same. His administration's only achievements are the Efurung and Enerin flyover project, a major feat considering the state's vast resources. Speaking with our Sabah correspondent uh, at Major Friday, the Commissioner for Economic Planning, Sonny Ekedayan, said the present administration has not borrowed any money from any financial institution in the state or in Nigeria in general. And Governor Borowari has paid off 161 billion naira of inherited liabilities. This is a state that has not uh, uh, borrowed a dime. Not at all. I mean, nobody's giving uh, due credit to, I mean, that fit. It takes somebody with discipline, both financially and as a person, I mean, to be able to pull those things through. Uh, just uh, 15 months ago, we were saddled with responsive debt, debt uh, stock about 465.10, I think, 4 billion. As of June, June 30th. Uh, the, our debt stock is 303.4. Uh, That's a reduction of almost approximately 161 billion. Despite everything that is still going on in the state, all the contractors have been paid as at Wendy. So it's a state that is um, blessed, even with what is happening nationwide in terms of insecurity. I know no state is free, but relatively, we, are, we have done well. One or two things would have happened, but if you compare data state with other states, um, uh, it was there's a concerted effort by the government. It can boast of four state universities that are doing well. It's a development. Data state today has two federal universities: the Nigeria Maritime University of Kerikoko and the Federal University of Petroleum Resources. Data state today can see boast of. Colleges of Education so I can also talk about polytechnics in the state, like Rara, uh, Guashuku, the College of Education, Mosoga, Wari, and then several polytechnics have also been established in Delta State. Delta State becomes the highest producer of oil and gas at the moment. The more agenda is working, actually, in this tenure. Remarkably, from for 33 years, we have been doing well. We are more progressive in this tenure. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.